Hey, Nick. Okay, uh, it's evaluation day, and I have your 6309 here. Uh, let's look at the numbers. The signal's pretty clean. The amplitude's low, though, but, you know, could certainly be worse. Definitely a little wavery. Movement doesn't look bad. Yeah, numbers are coming up. It's a relatively clean signal. Um, when I force wound that I could feel that the mainspring barrel was pretty gluey. I also see, a, as usual, a fair amount of um, darn it, a fair amount of uh, play in the lower mainspring arbor. Ooh, that your amplitude just dropped like a rock. Uh, let's see now. Let's see. I'm wearing my wrong thingy. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Because the balance looks pretty bright and the metal looks pretty clean. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's it's worn. I've, I've definitely seen worse, but you can see the screw heads moving. Hmm. Huh. No servicing marks inside the case pack. That's interesting. Okay, so, I mean, the watch is definitely original. Uh, it is interesting. Somebody wore this on a... Uh, a, on a web strap for a long time. A pretty stiff one, too. You can see the, the marks on the case back from that. You wouldn't think the cloth could do that to steel, but it does. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, as I said in my email, this one's got a lot of... A lot of sunwear. Your can opinion center wheel, pretty loose. They're, that's pretty worn. Yeah, that clicks over okay. It's a nice style. Hand looms a little toned down, but geez, after we clean the metal surfaces, I think it'd be fine. Case has honest and decent wear. Interesting, it's a big cutout. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? That's an early style case. Early style big cutout case. Isn't that interesting? I wonder how you ended up with that. How'd you end up on here? Hmm. That is very interesting. Uh, let's see. Hang on just one second. Yeah, you can see it here. Here's a comparison. You can see it especially on the on the top cutout there. See, this is a standard cutout. And what's this watch is from? This watch is from um 1981 but by 1979 you should have had the these i associate with like 6306s like in 1977 watches 76 and 77 big cutouts hmm. i like the big cutouts they're elegant um i don't know i think it's pretty straightforward um the only question mark i had was i don't know what we're gonna find for the underneath this loom pip here because you can see it's grayed out looks i don't know if the loom's gone or if it's just grayed out well we'll see it's pretty good no i think it's a good watch it's gonna need some basic love and we'll get it going okay let me know what you think